Good morning guys, how y'all doing today? It's Monday morning, it's a little bit wet out today. It's not really cold, it's like 40 degrees, 45 degrees, something like that. It's a Monday morning and uh, man, just ain't a lot going on with all this wet, you know, wet weather we got. So uh, yeah, I'm going down here to pick up Budweiser's boat. We got one little old yard we're gonna go do just, just to help the folks out. Uh, well, they're gonna pay me, but uh, we're gonna go on and knock that out. I gotta uh, go and bid on a job over a brush cutting job that I've lined up. Uh, this brush cutting job is actually coming from a guy I sold a, a one of my generators back before Christmas to a to a dude and. Uh, when I sold it to him, I, well, uh, <clears throat> he came over to the house to pick, the, pick it up, and when he got there, he saw all my equipment and stuff. He says, hey, man, uh, uh, you know anybody, uh, you, you do brush cutting work. And I'm like, well, I didn't have the brush cutter at the time, so I said, well, you know, I'll go in there and pull them all out, you know. He says, well, uh, come by. So he wanted me to go do his bushes, so he went over there and did his bushes. Me and Bo did a couple weeks after that, and uh, I looked at the uh, brush cut job, and uh, I told him, you know, uh, that, that you know after Christmas we could do it. So I planned on trying to get a brush cutter, you know, for the skid steer. So anyway, he knows. Uh, I, th I I told him twelve hundred dollars. When I go out there and look at it, I'm, I'm gonna look at it a little bit different than I looked at last time, and uh, because it was still things are still green and stuff so plus I, I've learned how to run the brush cutter I've done quite a few jobs with it uh, since I got it so I learned what he can and can't do always important to know what a piece of equipment can and can't do so there's that you know uh, anyway I'm gonna pick up Bo and we're gonna go do that little yard uh, I gotta make a couple of stops real quick uh, and then go over to Tyrone a bit on that job, uh, meet, meet with the owner, just to show the limitations of where he wants me to go and all that there. So anyway, I'll catch back up with you guys later. I ain't sure what kind of condition Bo's gonna be in, so I don't wanna put him out there if I ain't got to, man. I'll catch up with you. Okay guys, Ray Ray's Landscaping. So we over here at this first one, which is just a little granny yard, probably gonna bag these leaves up, you know. Uh, usually how how we'll do it this tree right here is usually really late in dropping the leaves so uh, I got Bo out here with me uh, I really don't really even need any help really to be honest but uh, you know trying to help him out a little bit just to keep this is so ugly this thing's kind of wet the bagger don't pick up good when it's wet but uh, well, these 37 horsepower engines though they'll they'll do it so let's just kind of show y'all this is this front you know is nothing and there's not a lot of weed eating or anything you know rarely do i even cut any grass this time of year so i just want to kind of walk back here before i get on the mower and look at what we got going on here see i'll just there's not a lot going on uh yeah nice big old dog turd right there nice so yeah not a whole lot happening here so yeah pretty nice really need to I usually spray all this but uh yeah so it looks like they put a fence on the other side there i'm not going to be able to get down the outside but that's i guess that's okay uh wow all uh, right pretty nice pool here 
Anyway, this guy, he's been a customer of mine for about a pretty good while, like eight years. So, so yeah. it's probably about 40 minutes here. Yeah, um, I think it pays 80. You know, so. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. So I'm fixing to get the mower going, get in the backyard, and see what we can come up with. Peace out. See, this is the kind of thing that that a bow does. So I asked him to put, you know, go dump some of these leaves on the trailer. He puts them all across the trailer. Why would he not put them on the side there? I had them all on the side, and then he dumps two bags, and he puts them right out in the middle. Now, see, it's stupid shit like that just drives me crazy, y'all. Well, this doesn't make no sense to me, bro. Hey. So I gotta go up in here and look. <laughs> you know? I mean, if he, if he had to put them all on that side, I could use this side for the mower, and then we could just push them off. Now they're just gonna be everywhere. Shit like that, they just drive the whole vent crazy, man. Just saying, man. Okay, fellas. So we did that one property. Uh, Man, I'm definitely going to have to have somebody else working with that. I can't deal with Bo, man. I'm just, ugh. That boy right there. I can't even do one little property with him. A property that he has done a hundred times over the years. And he still don't know how to, don't know how to do it. I mean, anyway, <clears throat> So I'm glad, I'm glad we got done. Uh, I had to bag it, so the dude gave me a hunter. We was over there for about an hour. So uh, usually I can do that property in about 40 minutes by myself. But we had to do a little more work today over there because of the, all the leaves and stuff. So uh, That's cool with me. I gotta, uh, I'm gotta. i gonna take you guys on a job. That I gotta go bid on a job. I'm, gonna, I'm going home for a minute, gonna drop this trailer and uh, <coughs> take some cough medicine. All right guys, so uh, I'm done working today. Like I said earlier, I got a few jobs I need to look at. I'm going over here to a storage facility and checking on <coughs> renting a, you know, a 10 by 20 or something. So what do you guys do? Do you guys that, you know, that are like me that have a lot of equipment and stuff, do y'all? Uh, so I'm just about growing out of my garage, you know. Uh, my house as far as equipment and, and, and all that uh, do you guys build shops at your house or do you uh, go rent a shop or do you rent storage facilities uh, I've seen a few of the guys online at storage places you know uh, and they get their equipment you know they keep their equipment there some of their equipment there you know uh, I'm just curious to know what everybody does um, yeah 
Okay, guys. So I uh, looked at the at the uh, at, <clears throat> at the bush hog job, the brush cutting job. It's pretty big. Uh, it's a lot of woods and stuff. Uh, I didn't get any video over there, and I I wish I'd had my video camera with me. But uh, it was me and the owner walking the property, and I didn't I just didn't have my video camera in my pocket with me. So my bad. But uh. Uh, after walking it with him and us talking about money and everything uh, we agreed on $2,100 to do all of it my thinking when I agreed on that number this be the first time or second time that I've agreed on an overall number I, don't, I try not to do that being so young in the game but, uh, you know, that that's my goal, is to always be able to bid it by the job and not by the hour. When you bid jobs by the hour, this is just my take on it. When you bid jobs by the hour, it don't matter what work it is, whether it be changing light bulbs or cutting grass or trimming trees or whatever. When you do it by the hour, well, I think that you're capping how much money you can make. You know, so uh, I, 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 you know, being young in the bush hog, brush cutting, bobcat game, you know, I've been doing a lot of things by the hour. But in order to make top dollar, you got to get out of that by the hour crap. Because by the hour, though, it's good money, you know. Uh, it ain't nothing like what you can make if you didn't do it by the hour. If you did it by the job, if you're able to forecast what it would take to do it, and if you and if you got tools and guys and and and, and all the things uh, that I have, you know, that's why I build up my tool arsenal. You know, I got chainsaws and brush cutters, and worst case scenario. Uh, well, I could bring two guys out there, and I know I'd get done in two days then. But I think that I, my, my thinking is that I can do it in three days with me and one other guy. Maybe only have the other guy out there two days. That's my thinking. So, uh, when I, when I agree. So basically, seven hundred dollars a day. You know, is that good money? I don't know. You know, and, and I mean, I know it's good money compared to the regular job that you would have, but a regular job that you have don't don't require you to have you know uh, forty thousand dollars worth of equipment out there. You know. So you tell me, somebody leave me a comment. It's seven hundred dollars a day uh, to run a, uh, a brush cutter on a, on a bobcat. Is that good money? Keep in mind that it's about uh, fifteen minutes from my house, so that's another plus. Uh, I'm getting a little more experience in, you know, uh, the bobcat and uh, how to bid. So I'm really excited about the potential of <coughs> I get up, it's cold too. I'm really excited about the potential of doing this job in two days. I bid it as if it were gonna take me three days. Uh, but I like to think that I can be more efficient than that. Uh, could take me four days. And that's the thing. That's what I that's what gets your heart going. That's what gets you get, gets things rolling for me. Is there's a chance, you know, you're rolling the dice somewhat, you know, when you bid by the job. Uh, and I'm up for it, man. I am definitely up for it, I think. So, the people that make the most money, this is my opinion, and I might be wrong. I think the people that make the most money in this game 
are the people that can forecast exactly how long it's going to take them to where they can come up with a number up front of the whole job. If I did it by the hour at $100 an hour, hell, man, I'll make $100 an hour sitting on a lawnmower. I do. I mean, so I'm going to have to so is $700 a day good money? You tell me in the comments, man. Hey, y'all, it's Ray, and I'll kick back with y'all, man.